have a haul. I know, right? It's been a while. I have a haul. Went to two antique stores in Monroe, Georgia. One of them was called the Cotton Mill. Can't remember the name of the other one. But um, I got a haul video for you. Where do you see what I got? Okay. Um, I don't remember what I paid for anything. So I'm just going to tell you what I got. What I think of it, if I even know. And how much I'm going to try to get for it. So I have this. Um, it's like a blue-green glass. It's kind of the same color as the old Coca-Cola cups. Glasses. It is marked Italy on the bottom. I did check this. It's smooth here, so it didn't have a stopper. Um, I guess you could put a cork in there. When I looked at pictures, I saw corks in there. The price ranges are all over the place on the research that I did, the brief research. Anywhere from $5, which is about, I think, what I paid for it, up to $35. So, obviously, I'm going to try to get at least $25. Hopefully, I can. So there's that. And that to me is grapes. I've also seen it listed as bubbles, but they look like grapes to me. Okay. This next one is, this is cute, right? It's for a votive candle. See, here's the light in the back and it's a little, um, you could hang this. Okay. With the little pumpkin things. This is the only Halloween thing I have. I've got, I think. And it is Yankee Candle. And don't remember what I paid for it, but I think I can get about $20 for this. I'm going to start it there anyway. Um, now this is adorable. I got a lot of salt and pepper shakers. I only paid a couple dollars for these. This is actually a salt and pepper shaker. And it's together, okay? But look, there's the side with two holes. And this is the side with three holes. So if you're going to use this, and obviously the cork is missing out of one hole. So if you want pepper, you go this way. If you want salt, you go that way. But isn't that adorable? I've never seen anything like that. And I may not have picked it up if it had been two separate ears of corn, but since they're together, I thought it was interesting. Another set of salt and pepper shakers. These little Scotty dogs. Now here's something that's interesting, and I think I could probably, I'll start these at $20 too. Um, you would think that the little black guy would be the pepper and the little white one would be the salt, but in actuality, it's the opposite. So the way you can tell is pepper usually only has less holes than the salt. So pepper goes in the white, salt goes in the black. I got this little piggy. He was cheap, real, real cheap. But I liked his face. I don't remember how much. He's just a figurine. And I got him because, first of all, I really do like his face. He does have some crazing. But overall, other than that, he's in pretty good condition. And I know a lot of people love pigs. So with this one, I, th I think I can get maybe $20, $25 for him. I'm going to try, of course. You know, I uh, probably won't. I'll probably get less than that. But I'm going to use keywords, uh, Charlotte's Web. Babe, farmhouse, cottage core. Okay, so that's that's how I'm gonna try to get that out. Now this, this is an experiment. I really don't remember. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm hoping I can get like thirty dollars for this. It's black depression glass. It's a fairly common pattern. I can't remember the name of that, but I'll find out. You can see this is really really dirty. It's got a lot of grease on it, so I gotta clean it up. But I'm going to start playing around with some of the colors of the glass. I was doing a little bit of research. And um, I don't know how out of date that research is, but it was saying that pink is still the most popular. But, you know, what you read and what you see for yourself, that's something you kind of have to weigh out. Because I was, I've been looking at the depression glass, which I love depression glass. I really do. But I'm noticing in the stores that the price of the pink is going down, which maybe... I'll explain that to you in a minute. I think that they've peaked and they're starting to be, um, I think they've peaked and it's just people aren't collecting the pink anymore. Okay? Which, alright, that brings me to this. Y'all know what this is. Do you know what this is? This is depression glass. It is uranium glass. I got three pieces. Now, on the flip side, 
show you something. This is how you can tell it's uranium glass. You see how it's glowing when you shine the black light on it? That's how you know. And I have three pieces in this. But here's what's happening with the depression glass. I used to be able to find it pretty easily, pretty cheap, right? Everybody's collecting it now. And when I'm out in the wild collecting it, I I've actually gotten very picky about what pieces I pick up. So this piece was marked down. I know it was marked down and I guess you can't really see it, but there is some scratch marks in it because this little platter was used, okay? It's old and it's used. Whoever originally owned it did not say, oh, I like that green glass, put it in a curio cabinet and never touch it for the last 50, 60, 70 years, okay? That didn't happen. People got this because at the time it was cheap and they used it. This was their good dishes back in the day. But what's happening right now with uranium glass is the price is going sky high and it's getting hard to find. And when you do find it, a lot of times out in the wild, unless somebody doesn't know what they have, they will have these in cases with a black light in it so that you can see it glowing. So um, these might be priced out of my price range here very, very soon. I had a piece I sold maybe a month or so ago. I paid five dollars I got it in a Goodwill and I know what happened they didn't know what it was and I almost passed it by myself it's in another video haul video um, but I sold it for 125 I probably could have gotten more because that particular vase that it was all the colors were selling at an average of 125 but because mine was uranium glass I probably could have gotten yeah I probably could have gotten more but that's what's happening with uranium glass so Finding it in pristine condition, first of all, really isn't realistic. You know, I mean, it could happen, but it's not realistic. People used the stuff back then. It was cheap glass. Here's another one. This, um, some sort of a dish. I'm not sure, but it's uranium glass as well. This one's in better condition. There's a couple little scratches on it, but not much. And I think that the reason why is because this type of dish probably wasn't used as often as a platter. And then I also have a bowl this bowl here has a chip in it. it has a chip right there I will point all this out but you can kind of see how there's some scraping on the bottom okay and um, this could be either a fruit bowl or a serving bowl but it was something that people used and this one I don't know what they used it for obviously I don't know but um, it's dirty too I'll have to clean it up now, I did find um, one piece, and I was talking with Janice, you know, my friend Janice, she was with me. We always go out and get in trouble together, right? Um, we, uh, we found a whole stack of uranium glass plates, and the prices weren't bad on them, but as we're looking through them, there was this, like, film on one, and I said, you know what, I don't think I'm going to bother with this, and she said, I agree with you. Now, I think the film was actually from the dishwasher. That's what I think. Whoever had it last was probably putting it in the dishwasher because, you know, people didn't, at one point, this wasn't collectible. This was every day where you used stuff. And it's just recently that people were like, uh oh, you know, but somebody who's had this in their house, I mean, they may hold, hold it in, a, in, in some place to keep it from getting damaged from use if they had an idea or if it was sentimental to them but if it was just a plate to them they're using it you know what i'm saying and that's what i think happened with this these other plates that had this weird film on them because you know her and i we were talking about it and we're like yeah this isn't going to come off i'm not going to be able to wash that off so i didn't get them because i don't want to hold on to these plates forever and ever and ever okay um back to fun stuff so i got this little candle i probably only get like ten dollars from them, but it's some funny little frog with a feather on it and it's an unused candle and I just got it because it's funny and I know some people collect frogs and I like this face and then I got this this dish um it is by W.S. George Valero Royal China Warranted 22 karat gold trim and this is an applied decoration it's not painted okay. another thing I got and I got because of the look this is covered casserole and I got it because of the colors it's really more contemporary it's by Coop K-O-O-K -O -O -K. 
and um, I think I can maybe get like 25 or 30 for it, maybe more, I don't know, I have to do my research of course. Now, y'all know about the, the cow creamers? I found two sets of chicken creamers. So, you know, it has the sugar bowl and the creamer set, so this one's a little bit bigger. Got these, see, the, you pour the cream with this one, and um, this one that is still taped, but there's your sugar bowl. And uh, these are home accents, so this one's not really, really old, but I thought they were cute. And um, I'm not sure what I can get for them. I have to do my research. But the price is right, so that's what matters, you know. And then so there was with those, and then there's this one. Same thing, a little creamer. That creamer kind of comes out under the chin, not out of the mouth. And then this is the sugar bowl. This one I think is older. I don't I don't know that mark. I'll have to find out. And it does have a little teeny weeny chip right there, which of course I will put in the listing. But that's those two. It was a chicken day yesterday. Okay. Because here we also got Gatesware, which I guess these are more contemporary too. The salt and pepper. But interestingly, what I said before about how many holes unless these were just put together but the holes are different like oh no wait a minute oh that's an eye okay so the pepper one only has one hole and the salt has two holes that's what happened okay salt and pepper and they have a little stock in the bottom all right something else that's fun look at this little bear is this bear not sweet look at his face this is ben b big bear and it is by an artist. There's a tag here that explains it all. The artist's name is Peggy Cupper. This was made in 2000, so it is vintage. And um, there's, it's from Mother Moose Gifts. Never heard of them. But I thought she was adorable. It has the, or he was adorable. It has the little tag explaining all of that. And I love this fish. The details are really incredible. And it's, it's kind of heavy, but it's resin. But amazing little little guy, so I don't know what I can get for him. Fifteen, twenty dollars maybe. We got two of these. Oh, that one got shipped. Dang it. That happened in travels. This one got shipped because I know it wasn't shipped when I picked it up. But I have two. These fat little cats with these funny little faces and their bobbleheads. And they're fun. They have wire whiskers. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know if they're wire or not. They have whiskers, and they're not marked on the bottom, so I don't know who makes them, but they are an ornament. They are an ornament, or you can set them on a, on a surface, but they're adorable. I love their little faces, too, and I'm kind of upset that that one's chipped. Okay. Then I got something else. This is probably, I don't know, maybe not, I don't know. I got two of these, okay? I got a pair. Cafe de Monte candle holders. Thought they were in really good condition, right? Looked at all the flowers. No chips on the flowers. They look pretty good. No chips on the beaks. They look pretty good. People love swans. And then this morning, look what I found. Daggone. Daggone it. But honestly, even so, I think I can, it's probably going to take a while, but I can probably get about $50 for the pair. You'll see. I'm a little bit upset about that, though. But if I, if I can't sell them as a pair because of that one broken, and they're dirty, too. Like, look at the dust. There's a lot of dust on them, so I'm going to have to get some kind of a brush to get them clean. But, um, they are pretty. Look at them. If I can't sell them as a pair because that one's broken, I will just take that one off and sell this one single. I'll still probably get like 25 for one. So. That was upsetting that I found that, but that is very common with Cap de Monte. It is brittle. Well, obviously it's ceramic, so it's ceramic breaks, right? But it's brittle. It's very fine. There's thin edges, and they just they have a tendency to break. So anyway, that is that haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's something that you want. I can tell you how to get it. You just send me a message or write it in the comments down there. You know, and I will help you out. I'll set you up, all right? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.